That doesn't so, help. So I was just saying, certainly not that helping. Doesn't help at all. And, and Kevin's keeping an eye on things for us tonight. Do you think things are going to get rocky? Any more tornado warnings popping up throughout the night? You know, I certainly wouldn't say it's impossible. The tornado threat overall is relatively low, but there have been several confirmed tornadoes, you know, just across the state line in Indiana. And we've had storms that have shown and exhibited rotation throughout the evening. And in fact, I actually think as folks are going to bed tonight, we're probably going to see a coverage of thunderstorms increase. We'll get to that stuff over in Indiana. You can clearly see how that is increasing out to our west, and this eventually all has to come in our direction. But first things first, let's get in on some of the storms that we have now. Still some thunder and lightning out of this shower. It's weakened considerably across parts of Butler County now as it gets ready to drift into Warren County. Mason up towards Monroe, some heavy rainfall, but this was one of the storms earlier that had some significant rotation on it. In fact, we showed you that picture of the wall cloud and rotation with that when it was back in Indiana. That is weakening now, but still producing a little bit of rain there as it crosses Interstate 75. Now we've had several repeated rounds of heavy rain, especially closer to I-70. This red box right here is actual flood warning, and that's something that we may need to watch out for overnight, especially if storms very well trained over the same areas. They will be efficient rainers out there. Now notice in Indiana tonight how the coverage of storms continues to increase, and a lot of this has to sweep into our area. So while you know the threat for severe weather may not be off the charts tonight, I would not rule it out at all. So there still very well could be additional warnings as you see out to our west as we go through the night. And yes, there are still some tornado warnings up near I-70. So there's just enough rotation in the atmosphere to support a low end tornado threat, albeit it is not that great. Now, it is still very steamy out there tonight. Most of us are somewhere very close to 80 still. And with the high levels of humidity, temperatures like this going into the overnight hours, you have to remain alert for the threat of severe weather. As you can see, the storm threat will increase through the midnight hour through 2, 3 a.m. And again, while severe weather threat is not off the charts, it is there tonight. And I think a lot of this wraps up towards 6, 7 a.m. So through the morning commute, things will be improved. And a lot of our Tuesday should be much quieter and calmer, albeit still very steamy out there. So check this out, a dew point of 73, 82% humidity. That's why when it does rain, expect for big downpours and a localized flood threat to go with that severe component. So we keep the threat for storms through the night tonight, and then by morning, things will begin to improve. So gusty winds and heavy rainfall, the main concerns, but again, a low end tornado threat still exists as well. Tomorrow, steamy sunshine with some clouds. I'll keep a stray shower chance in there, but I think most of us are pretty much dry tomorrow once the morning rain gets out, and that should generally happen close to sunrise there, somewhere in that six to seven time frame. Here's your seven day. Well, while we get a break tomorrow, I think we are still stuck in a stormy rut through the end of the week around here, Mike and Shree, and I do also foresee at least the potential for maybe a couple of more clusters of strong to severe storms as the week goes on. So we're kind of stuck in this steamy, stormy pattern, at least through the end of the week. Kevin, thanks for the update. Not a lot of action today for.